Hello viewers, welcome to the bachelor's course of population studies. Today we will discuss about the levels of urbanization in world. The process of urbanization historically has been associated with other important economic and social transformations which have brought greater geographical mobility, lower fertility, longer life expectancy and population aging. Cities are important drivers of development and poverty reduction as they concentrate much of the national economic activity, government, commerce and transportation and provide crucial links with rural areas between cities and across international borders. Urban living is often associated with higher levels of literacy, education, better health and enhanced opportunities for cultural and political participation. Nevertheless, rapid and unplanned urban growth threatens sustainable development. When the necessary infrastructure is not developed or when policies are not implemented to ensure that the benefits of city life are equitably shared. Despite the comparative advantage of cities urban areas are more unequal than rural areas and hundreds of millions of the world's urban poor live in substandard conditions. Urbanization is integrally connected to the three pillars of sustainable development, economic development, social development and environmental protection. In 2014, 54% of the world's population was residing in urban areas. That is, more people live in urban areas than in rural areas. In 1950, 30% of the world's population was urban. And by 2050, 66% of the world's population is projected to be urban. In various levels of urbanization also, there lies a significant diversity. The most urbanized regions include North America, Latin America and the Caribbean and Europe with 82%, 80% and 73% of the population living in urban areas respectively in 2014. In contrast, Asia and Africa are mostly rural with 48 and 40% 40 of their respective populations living in urban areas. Africa and Asia are urbanizing faster than the other regions and are projected to become 56 and 64% urban respectively by the year 2050. Accurate, consistent and timely data on global trends in urbanization and city growth are critical for assessing current and future needs with respect to urban growth and for settling policies, priorities to promote inclusive and equitable urban and rural development. In order to systematically track levels and trends in urbanization around the world, we will discuss the findings of the 2014 revision of World Urbanization Prospects, which contains the latest estimates of the urban and rural population of 233 countries or areas from 1950 to 2014 and projections to 2050. Globally, more people live in urban areas than in rural areas. The global urban population exceeded the global rural population for the first time in the history in 2007 and the world population has remained predominantly urban thereafter. We can see it in the figure 1. In 1950, more than two-thirds that is 70% of the people worldwide lived in rural settlements 
and less than one third, that is 30 percent in urban settlements. In 2014, 54 percent of the world's population was urban. The urban population is expected to continue to grow so that by 2050, the world will be one third rural, that is 34 percent only and two-third urban, that is 66 percent of the population will be urban. Roughly, the reverse of the global rural urban population distribution of the mid 20th century. Figure 2 shows the levels of urbanization vary greatly across the regions. In 2014, high levels of urbanization at or above 80 percent characterized Latin America, Caribbean and the North America. Europe with 73 percent of its population living in urban areas is expected to be over 80 percent urban by 2050. Africa and Asia in contrast remain mostly rural with 40 percent and 48 percent of their respective populations living in urban areas. Over the coming decades the level of urbanization is expected to increase in all regions. It is also referred to as major areas, with Africa and Asia urbanizing faster than rest of the areas. Nevertheless, these two regions which are projected to reach 56 and 64 percent urban by mid-century respectively are still expected to be less urbanized than other regions of the world. Africa and Asia are urbanizing more rapidly. The rate of urbanization is highest in Asia and Africa where currently the proportion of urban is increasing by 1.5 and 1.1 percent per annum respectively. Regions that already have relatively high levels of urbanization are urbanizing at a slower pace at less than 0.4 percent annually as shown in the figure 3. In general, the pace of urbanization tends to slow down as population becomes more urbanized. We can see a considerable variation across regions in rates of urbanization since the year 1950. Africa is currently urbanizing faster than in the late 90s and is expected to be the fastest urbanizing region from 2020 to 2050. The rate of urbanization in Asia fluctuated widely, mainly as a result of the stagnation of the urbanization process in China in the late 1960s and early 1970s and its subsequent upturn. Europe, North America and Oceania on the other hand each experienced a period of stable urbanization and overall their rate of urbanization has been slow over the last two decades. In Latin America and the Caribbean, the rate of urbanization has declined smoothly over the past six decades. Urbanization in developing countries has proceeded faster than in developed countries. But the correlation of the rate of urbanization with economic growth has been weaker than in developed countries. Figure 4 on the screen shows that the high income countries of today have been highly urbanized for several decades. Upper middle income countries have experienced the fastest pace of urbanization since 1950. In 1950, a majority, say 57 percent of the population in high income countries already lived in urban areas. The level of urbanization is expected to rise further from 80 percent today to 86 percent in 2050. By contrast, 
in the upper middle income countries of today, only 20 percent of the population lived in urban areas in 1950. But these countries urbanized rapidly and are now 63 percent urban. This percentage is expected to rise to 79 percent urban by 2050. Countries such as Brazil, China, Iran, Mexico are in this group and have experienced both rapid urbanization and rapid growth of gross national income. In the lower middle and the low income countries, the pace of urbanization has been slower until now. Nevertheless, this group of countries is expected to experience faster urbanization than others in the coming decades. In 2014, the proportion of the population living in urban areas was 39 percent in lower middle income countries and 30 percent in low income countries. By 2050, these countries are expected to reach on an average 57 and 48 percent urban respectively. The rural population of the world has grown slowly since 1950 and is expected to reach its peak in few years. Approximately 3.4 billion people currently live in rural areas around the world. That number is expected to remain relatively constant in the coming years. However, sometime after 2020, the world's rural population will start to decline and is expected to reach 3.2 billion in 2050. The global trend is driven mostly by the dynamics of rural population growth in Africa and Asia, which is a home today to nearly 90 percent of the world's rural population as shown in figure 5a. The rural population of the world resides in a relatively small number of countries. India has the largest rural population, 857 million, followed by China, which has 635 million population as rural. Together, these two countries account for 45 percent of the world's rural population. Bangladesh, Indonesia and Pakistan follow each with over 100 million rural inhabitants. In Africa, the largest rural population are located in Nigeria, 95 million and Ethiopia, 78 million. Between 2014 and 2050, the rural population is expected to increase in about one third of the countries of the world. The largest increase will be registered in Nigeria, Ethiopia and Uganda. The remaining two thirds of countries are expected to have stable or declining rural populations. The largest declines are expected in China with a decline of 300 million equivalent to or more than one half of their rural populations in 2014. And in India, where the number of rural residents is expected to decline by 52 million. The urban population of the world is expected to increase by more than two thirds by 2050 with nearly 90 percent of the increase to take place in the urban areas of Africa and Asia. The world's urban population is now close to 3.9 billion and is expected to reach 6.3 billion in 2050. Asia, despite its low level of urbanization, is today home of 53 percent of the urban population in the world. 
Europe has the second highest share of world's urban population at 14 percent, followed by Latin America and Caribbean with 13 percent as shown in figure 5b. Over the next four decades, Africa and Asia will experience a marked increase in urban populations. By mid-century, the urban population of Africa is likely to triple and that of Asia to increase by 61 percent. As a consequence, close to 90 percent of the increase in the world's urban population will take place in the urban areas of Africa and Asia. In 2050, most of the urban population of the world will be concentrated in Asia 52 percent and Africa 21 percent. Asia will continue to host nearly one half of the world's urban population. Just a few countries are home to half of the world's urban population. China has the largest urban population 758 million followed by India with 410 million of urban population. These two countries account for 30 percent of the world's urban population and with another five countries the United States of America 263 million, Brazil 173 million, Indonesia 134 million, Japan 118 million and the Russian Federation with 105 million of population account for more than half of the world's urban population. The figure also shows that the future increases in the world's urban population are expected to be highly concentrated in just a few countries. Taken together, China, India and Nigeria are projected to account for 37 percent of the increase, nearly 2.5 billion people in the urban population by 2050. Between 2014 and 2050, the urban areas are expected to grow by 404 million people in India, 292 million in China, 212 million in Nigeria. Seven other countries, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, the United Republic of Tanzania, Bangladesh, Indonesia and Pakistan and the United States of America are projected to contribute more than 50 million each to the urban increment and will constitute together another 20 percent of the total increase in urban population. In a few countries, the urban population will decrease despite projected increases in the level of urbanization. The largest declines between 2014 and 2050 are projected for Japan with a decline of 12 million urban dwellers and for the Russian Federation expected to decline by 7 million. After discussing the levels and trends of urbanization in the world, let's discuss the policy implications. Cities offer opportunities to expand access to services such as healthcare and education for large numbers of people in an economically efficient manner. Urban dwellers have also access to larger and more diversified labor markets and they enjoy healthier lives overall. But urbanization also brings with it the challenge of sustainable development, particularly in the lower middle countries. Following points should be taken care by the policy makers while planning and developing cities. History has shown that policies that aim to restrict rural urban migration are ineffective at forestalling 
city growth and can even produce economic, social and environmental harms. In recent years, a growing number of countries have been favoring other strategies for rural and urban development, such as allocating land rights, managing land use, land redistribution, creating regional development zones and promoting economic diversification and competitiveness in rural areas. Therefore, diversified policies to plan for and manage the spatial distribution of the population and internal migration are needed. Governments must implement policies to ensure that the benefits of urban growth are shared equitably and sustainably. A holistic approach to urban planning and management is needed to improve living standards of urban and rural dwellers alike. Sustainable urbanization requires that cities generate better income and employment opportunities, expand the necessary infrastructure, information and communication, ensure equal access to services, reduce the number of people living in slums and preserve the natural assets. Policies aimed at a more balanced distribution of urban growth, avoiding excessive concentration in just one or two very large urban agglomerations within a single country can also support sustainable development. To attain urban sustainability, there is a need for building institutional capacities and applying integrated approaches. Successful su sustainable urbanization requires competent, responsive and accountable governments charged with the management of cities and urban expansion, as well appropriate use of information and communication technologies for more efficient service delivery. To systematically track levels and trends in urbanization around the world and to monitor progress in sustainable development, governments with the support of international cooperation produce more extensive and better quality data on the size, distribution and characteristics of population. Accurate, consistent and timely data on global trends in urbanization and city growth are critical for assessing current and future needs with respect to urban growth. To conclude, we can say that the urban population of the world has grown rapidly since 1950 from 746 million to 3.9 billion in 2014. Asia, despite its lower level of urbanization, is home to 53 percent of the world's urban population, followed by Europe, 14 percent, and Latin America and Caribbean, 13 percent. Continuing population growth and urbanization are projected to add 2.5 billion people to the world's urbanization policy population by 2050, with nearly 90 percent of the increase concentrated in Asia and Africa. Just three countries, India, China and Nigeria, together are expected to account for 37 percent of the projected growth in the world's urban population between 2014 and 2050. India is projected to add 404 million urban dwellers, China 292 million and Nigeria 212 million. But large scale urbanization will bring many problems with it. Governments must implement policies to ensure that the benefits of urban growth are shared equitably and sustainably. A holistic approach to urban planning and management is needed to improve living standards of urban and rural dwellers alike. 
Sustainable urbanization requires that cities generate better income and employment opportunities, expand the necessary infrastructure for water, sanitation, energy, transportation, information and communications, ensure equal access to services, reduce the number of people living in slums and preserve the natural assets within the city and surrounding areas. For sustainable development, policies should be aimed at a more balanced distribution of urban growth, avoiding excessive concentration in just one or two large urban agglomerations within a single country. This is all for today's lecture. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.